How to export media as GIF files in DaVinci Resolve 19. Inside your project edit window, hold it Control or Command if you're a Mac user and press I to insert a media clip of your choice into your project. Click and drag from the thumbnail of your media file from the Media Pool Master Bin and move your mouse cursor to the timeline to insert. If I drag the red playhead to the end of my edits using the Selection Mode tool, we can see that the video clip plays for a total duration of just over 6 seconds. If I want my GIF file to ultimately contain just the first 3 seconds of this clip though, I can use in and out markers to identify this before rendering, and so I will drag the red playhead back to the start of the clip, and will press I to create the in mark, and will drag the red playhead to the 3 second mark and press O to set the out mark. Hold ALT and press X if you wish to remove the in and out marks. Go to Deliver. Underneath Custom Export, enter a file name and select the storage location for your GIF file. Render can stay set as single clip as we have already applied the in and out marks to our timeline. Ensure that Video and the Export Video box are selected. Click on the Format menu and scroll up to find GIF towards the top. Set your resolution depending on the size that you wish for your GIF file to be, including whether you wish to apply horizontal or vertical resolutions. The frame rate will match that of the number of stills played on your project file, as you can identify in the Project Settings window. If you wish for there to be a delay before your GIF file loops, simply increment the value next to Last Frame Delay. If I change this to 3 for example, the final still will remain on screen for 3 seconds before looping back to the first frame again. Ticking Image Off setting enables the stills that form part of your GIF to be altered in terms of positioning on screen to help produce a seamless and concise animation effect, although the output may not seem significantly different if this were to be unticked. Unticking Image Off setting may also enable you to save storage space on your computing device. Having palette generation set to medians will result in average colours being identified and used to fill in similar shaded segments of your visual media. Selecting clusters as the palette generation will produce more detailed blending of colours on your GIF file, although this could result in longer rendering time due to the greater file size. If you set the palette generation to off on the other hand, there will be more distortion and inconsistent colour application to your final GIF file. Number of colours is basically the colour depth, representing the number of different possible colour shades that each pixel on your visual media can contain. The lower this value is, the lower the quality your final GIF file will be, although this could also be used to create a classic posterized effect for your video clips. Here in this particular example I will select 32, if you don't wish for the GIF file to restart once this is finished, select OFF next to loop, or if you wish for the GIF to loop a certain number of times, select COUNT, and then enter the number of times that you wish for the GIF to play on screen in the box to the right of this. Here in this example I will select INDEFINITE. Once you are done with your export settings, select ADD to render queue, and select RENDER ALL once this job appears under RENDER queue. If you've produced a clip inside DaVinci Resolve which contains alpha value, such as the black area surrounding this text here which represents transparency, you can export this so that you can use this file including in other software, such as Microsoft PowerPoint. If I create an animation effect where I set a keyframe at the start of this text clip, where the rotation angle is set to zero, and then move the red playhead to the final frame, and add 360 to rotation angle so that the text spins around in a full circle, I will apply the in and out markers once again, and will return to deliver, and this time I will tick the export alpha value underneath the video settings before rendering. I can then go to Microsoft PowerPoint for example, and use the insert pictures option to insert the GIF file. The GIF should animate in accordance to the settings that were applied inside the DaVinci Resolve software. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.